Hey everyone, Noble Comics here, talking about the Heather Antos thing, Heather Antos versus Dean Cain, with this, and Dean Cain's one of those guys, there's a few of them, it's like him, Chris Pratt, uh, Mark Wahlberg, there's a few of them where they're these conservative guys, conservative actors, obviously James Woods, but you know, he's a little bit far gone as far as the left's concerned, and there are these people who don't really do anything that controversial, but they're conservatives, so every few months or so they'll just find another reason to attack them. You see it happen with Chris Pratt all the time now. But Dean Cain's one of these guys, too. They just find a reason to go after him. And uh, they did it just a little while ago because he said something like, Superman would not be allowed to say, you know, for truth, justice, in the American way, and then Tom King got all butt hurt about it, you know, that whole thing that happened. But this one uh, is especially funny. So we got Heather Antos here, who was like a comic book editor for some reason. Heather Antos, if you guys don't know, is an idiot. She is just a moron, knows nothing about comics, got a job because she had the right, you know, pronouns and the right gender and the right politics, so she got a job in comics. Uh, but she's just an idiot. Uh, and who who can forget, okay? So I mentioned Tom King. It was her and Tom King who were like going after Jay Lee for working uh, with Ethan Van Skyver, trying to ruin this guy's career for that. And, uh, you know, when he was dealing with his like dead dog, which, you know, that's a whole other thing. But Heather Antos, right? Sorry for this crappy picture here, but I had to find it. When her dog died, her dog Flash, if you guys remember this, her dog Flash died. So she got a tattoo to remember her dog by, and she got a Shazam tattoo. Like, okay, sad that your dog died, you know, that sucks. But seriously, are you that big of a moron? You don't know the difference between Flash and Sh Shazam? For somebody who is a comic book editor, I mean, is just like, oh, you know, it's a lightning bolt, it's a lightning bolt. Like, this person down here, well, yeah, it looks like this, is, yeah, definitely not a modern age Flash. And the funny thing is, in this picture, the actual Flash logo is just right there. But she got the wrong one. Not just she put the wrong, that is a permanent tattoo of the wrong symbol. Because she's just a moron. But back to the matter at hand. We got Dean Kane, who said he's tired of all the wokeness and anti-Americanism. And I'm sure he means just like across the board in general, right? But uh, especially in comic books, there's a bunch of this going around. It has been going around for, you know, five years now, five or six years. And what he's referring to specifically, so you have the new woke Captain America. It's referring to, it's like a new Captain America number one. And the first thing uh, he's talking about, how he's basically forgotten, you know, he doesn't believe in the American dream. He says, I'm, I'm loyal to nothing except the dream. And that's what he said back in the, uh, you know, the good old days. But here, oh, Captain America doesn't believe in the American dream. America bad. America's terrible. And they've been, they've been really going extra hard after Captain America these last few years since, like, Probably about the same thing, about 2015, 2016. And all of the original Avengers are getting the same treatment. Thor got this terribly... Thor treated terribly. Completely just destroyed his character. He's kind of making a comeback now, but we'll see. Uh, they did. They kind of... Uh, with, like, Immortal Hulk, which started out well, but... Doing a number on the Hulk, trying to replace him with She-Hulk. They did a number on Hawkeye. They did a number on Iron Man. I mean, they're just kind of going after these original Avengers for some reason because they want to tear them down and replace them with, like, diversity hires. So, they did They did it with Captain America starting in, I'd say, most blatantly, 2017, when they just canonically said, oh yeah, Captain America's a Nazi. And then, from there, he's never had any sort of redemption. He's just always kind of been a bad person. You know, he feels guilty about being an American, associated with America. 
because all these people hate America. You know, Heather Antos hates America. They all hate America, so they want to make Captain America a sucker. So, yeah, he's tired of the dream. You know, very stupid. And people like Dean Cain were upset about that, rightfully, because that's stupid. If you're going to write Captain America, at least give it to somebody who likes America, maybe. You know, shock. So, that's what he said. He's tired of all the anti-Americanism. And she says, he knows Superman wasn't an American, right? So, yeah, just stop it, please. <laughs> First of all, from the offset, before we get anything else here, he says, he knows Superman wasn't an American, right? Who is talking about Superman? None of this has to do with Superman other than the fact that Dean Cain played him on the TV show. This whole thing is about Captain America. Nothing, none of this has to do with any controversy about Superman. <laughs> like an idiot. But of course, again, like with the Flash and Shazam thing, I'm sure she's like, well, you know, what's the difference? Captain America, Superman, they're both basically the same thing. So, so... First of all, that's stupid from the offset, but <clears throat> also, since when is Superman not an American? Born on Krypton, sure. Raised on a small farm in Kansas. Taught good old American values. Truth, justice, and the American way. Superman's more American than she is, for sure. But his whole identity is around being an American. Superman is inherently American. He's an American icon. Uh, and the point that she's making just... You know, I know it's kind of that thing where you don't want to just throw around the word racist. I mean, they do it, so maybe I can too. Sounds kind of racist to me. She's saying just only people born in America can be Americans. You can't immigrate. Is she anti-immigration? Because that's kind of what I'm hearing, is that she's anti-immigration. Because uh, Superman basically immigrated here as a child, shot on a rocket to Earth, landed in Kansas, and lived his entire life as an American citizen. So, I don't know what point she's trying to make. Um, I guess she's just showcasing her IQ levels here. So, that's kind of the uh, the controversy behind all this. Heather Antos being an idiot, Dean Cain saying something pretty non-controversial, and her just being stupid. <laughs> Talking about, first of all, the wrong superhero, and then making an incorrect and stupid point. But keep in mind, folks, I know some of you out there might not know who this chick is. One of, like, the leading leftist voices in comic books, which in comic books the only leading voices are leftist voices. But she's a big deal. She uh, basically killed an entire comic book line. She has really never done anything successful over there, but she keeps getting work because she's a liberal and she will destroy your career uh, at the slightest, uh, at, at any given chance. So she's a terrible person. And obviously kind of retarded. So, that's the video. Heather Antos versus uh, Dean Kane here. Just a master class in stupidity. And uh, how to look like a retard just uh, on social media. I don't know, probably shouldn't be saying retard. Can't say that anymore. But that's what we got. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, a couple things to show you guys. First off, I've got my campaign here. It's live. We've got nine days left. Uh, this is the, in the first 30 months. There's going to be first month, first 30 days. Uh, there's going to be two months total. After that, the book is gone. So make sure you get one now. Uh, we're at six ninety of our $3,000 goal. So let's see if we can smash that before uh, the end of the two months. Then also, I got my Teespring store, which that's available. If you go to my website, Noble Comics Publishing, you got a link to take you there. Got some Cardinal merch, some Noble Comics stuff, a lot of good stuff here, so be sure to check it out. Uh, let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you in the next video.